Hello, this is Tech Extreme, and today I'm going to be saying sorry for not uploading videos lately. But you know, I had a lot of stuff going on with school and such. But no, let's just get into what this tutorial is going to be about. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to flash your Android box firmware onto your Android box using a USB to USB type A cable. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find a toothpick. After you find a toothpick, you have to snap it in half, as you heard just there. And then what you're going to want to do with the flat edge, not the pointy edge, you are going to want to put that in the AV port of your Android box and push down until you hear a click, sort of like this. Once you hear that click, just push down on it and make sure the click is there. Then plug one end of your USB into the box. Then open up this software called USB Burning Tool. After that, just click this and change the language to English. Deselect overwrite key. I know it's spelled weird, but no. Then you push down on the AV button again until you hear that clicking noise. Plug the USB into the USB port of your computer while having the USB on the other end plugged into your box and just make it plugged in. Once you see the connect success, what you're going to want to do is put your Android box down, open up where you downloaded that. Um, uh, your firmware and basically let me just find it here right click on it if you have 7-zip go to 7-zip click extract files what I like to do is I like to just name it something random and then we just wait for the actual firmware to unpack itself from the actual RAR file this may take 20 seconds, it may take 30 seconds. Well, it depends on how fast your hard drive is. So after it's finished extracting, go into File, Import Images, go into Downloads, go into where you down downloaded file and extracted it. Click the IMG file and it will go through this process of image checking. It says it may take longer, but it's, it means it will take a longer time. It's just the people who developed this app didn't really speak good English. So once it has finished, what you're going to want to do is click start. And it's okay if this happens. You just simply unplug your box. And then do the same process again that you did just hold down the AV button which is the reset button by the way until you hear that click like so plug this end into your computer and once it says connect success you can just leave that in there and then just click start again Okay, well, try that one more time. As you can see, it's doing it now, thank god. So what you have to do is you wait for it to finish, it may take three to seven minutes according to your box and how much firmware you need to put on top so i'm just gonna wait here and wait for it to finish up i'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's finished 
while we're waiting for this, I think this is Kansas National Anthem. And it's still on 95%. So sorry to those Canadians who are out there and that's not their national anthem. Because I don't know if it is or not. I think it is. But anyways. I hope you like my tin whistle playing. I've been learning for a few weeks. But it's pretty easy to play to be honest. Just as long as you're able to make that t t t sort of thing weird now. can't play the titanic which is very oh it's finished now hallelujah so just click stop exit unplug and you're finished so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and my flute playing if you didn't like the flute comment down below if you did like it Comment down below if you liked the video, give it a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you like my tin whistle playing, give it a like. <laughs> Consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, shut up, everyone.